Hello and welcome to a one of the first of many series that I'll hopefully be doing. Uh, welcome to a game called Star Citizen. Basic premise, you're a guy in space. That's pretty much it. Um, but uh, since I've already started this, we're gonna we're just gonna start straight out and go right into mining. And yeah. So let's just hop into a game here. It is a very beautiful game, I do have to say. It's a very nice game. But uh, the goal of this video is uh, to, I guess, get as much money in as possible before the uh, 3.17 comes out and ruins all my refinery gear. Which is going to be lovely, but, you know, shit happens. Oh, oh, like that. Welcome to a little home away from home. Current location is in the uh, mining station, Arc L1. Uh, currently located in Arc Corp. We've just been doing Quantanium mining. Oh, crap. Hide the messages. Stairs. Uh, these elevators take years. So, welcome to Arc L1, a small little station. I do go to visit the refinery first because I do actually have stuff in the refinery. Overall, this elevator takes years, especially when you have Quantanium and you're just waiting for that countdown ticker to hopefully not blow up your ship. To the left. I know this hurts my knees, but I need the speed. Oh yes. Perfect. Those are some interesting goggles. So here's our refinery. Sick. Okay, so we gotta wait another hour. That's what we have so far. Overall, this is probably near uh, 300,000, something like that. Thousand worth of quantanium, as well as other miscellaneous. Yes, natural AI standing perfectly in a straight line, facing in one direction. Oh, and the ever glitching ele uh, elevators of Star Citizen, straight through you. Get, let's get to the proper work. Let's get some mining. Let's get to uh, or to pack one. And here she is, my mole. Massive ship. So hopefully, with the new MISC expanse, these things detach from your ship with all your raw materials, and the MISC expanse will 
pick it up and bring it to a station like this and into a refinery so that the miners, aka this ship, as well as uh, the other mining ship, the Prospector in this case, can stay out for longer uh, without having to come back to the station and spend all that time. Because if... Oh, that's the wrong direction. God damn it. Come on. Because as you'll see, as I was saying, it does take a while to get back and forth between the planets and this station. Especially when the clock is ticking. Let's get some fuel. This thing takes so much hydrogen. And we're just gonna go to Lyria. Let's go to somewhere where the sun is shining. See. So the engines. Wait for the fueling to complete. Fueling is completed. Let's get out of here. Gears up. Let's try to quantum drive. Go, oh, and there goes the audio. Um, we have this wonderful little helpful tool that we're going to use in a second here. We'll wait for the cooldown. We can input our mass of the rock and then the percentage of quantanium. It'll output a lovely number of the SCU, which is in Star Citizen, the cargo capacity. So in this case, 47. That'll give us our total yield, uh, the cost it will take to reuse the refinery, and then the total profit that we make. Hopefully we can, assuming we need to have a good complete break of the rock. Just gonna hide that window now. Fastest, in my opinion, and the easiest way to get down to a planet's surface is just jump to one of these things and then fly in the opposite direction. A little bit more risky due to the fact that there could be other people on the ground, but the profits outweigh the risks, in my personal opinion. journey down to the planet's surface, and uh, I'll get back to you when we're down there. I'll we'll walk back, back on the planet's surface now, just scanning for rocks, for clusters, or double rocks that are put together. Ooh, torque. So, that rock won't do, because it's a single. What we're looking for is two rocks put together. Together, and this can take forever, so. Uh, let's keep on looking. And keep on scanning. So we've managed to, uh, managed to find one, let's just take a look, 3% quantanium, it's not a lot, damn, 
Got my hopes up. And 2% Quantanium. That is not worth it at all. Well, thought we had one. But I guess not. Try that again. Okay. Looks like we got lucky here and found another one. here. Let's take a look, see if these ones are any good. Forty four percent, that's pretty good. Apparently the rocks on the other side. The very verge of fifteen percent, okay. So you were, all right, let's just use our little handy dandy calculator here. Uh, you had a mass of 31.58, and then a 44.34% ends up being 28 SCU worth of cargo. Isn't great, but it's better than nothing. Then we also had the other one, which is, 54.96 at 15.55%. That's 17 SCU, which means it could be worth it. We might be able to get something good out of that. Question is, could we break it? That's the thing. Alright. Let's make an attempt, I guess. Bring the speed down. top of this. Alrighty, here comes the difficult part. Have we lined up correctly? As soon we have come right on top of the rock, so oh yes, D lovely, the jumping ship. Not a fun time when that happens, but it's very trippy too. Also gets very loud when this thing goes to the full power. Wants to know uh, the mining laser I'm using is the Lancet, along with the stability bonuses, uh, as well as a Focus 2 module, a Torrent 3 module, and a Fox C3 module. So, that one's useless. Let's take a look. How about you? You any good? You're actually that's good knowing that mostly inert materials went into that rock. And you are nearly all quantanium in this rock here. Be very careful. Quantanium and instability go hand in hand. Like there it goes. Don't want it to go into the overcharge or else it explodes in a wonderful light show. 
and possibly your ship going up in flames. I've done that a couple times, actually. Gotta be very careful. Because you can do that. And unlike the Prospector, which is the smaller one, I can't back away while I'm mining. I have to stick with it. You're also a pretty good piece. What about you, actually? I just want to double check you. Okay, you don't have any Quantania, so just these two pieces are good. reach around and do this one at the same time. So you don't have to move. I have a way to get it done. Yeah, looks like we can. Nice. Please tell me that's a 100% Quantanium piece. Ah, nearly. It's okay. We'll use our filter arm to do that. Aluminum. You definitely have Quantanium. Okay. Fix the next next update. I believe it does actually, due to the fact I, I think this is caused by the desync between yourself and the ship. That's gonna explode like a firecracker. Come on. Wait for it. Yep, told you so. And they are now space rocks.
damn, we're gonna have to go play fetch with those. That sucks. It's okay. Guess it's my fault anyway. That one's perfect. At least near perfect. Let's take a look. Do you have any quantanium in you? Yes, you do. This is going to be a little bit difficult, though. Yep. There it goes. There's probably a better way of doing this, but no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's gonna do an explosion too. Not as far. That's good. That you? Anything with you? Yeah, you have continuum as well. so that the rock can be accessed by the right side. Let's back up a little bit. Perfect. We're just going to assume that their person cam is a drone camera from this ship. the extraction side, which in this case is my right mining laser. There are three mining la uh, three mining seats on this, three mining lasers on this ship, size two mining lasers, so... I'll have this nice little view here. seen that before. Oh, come on. Stop. 
Stop it. Mainly in are you? Yeah, you are. Oh, no, not you. You. Yeah, you are mainly just in our material. Oh, you. You don't want any in you. Why must you do this? It's okay, as long as the quantanium keeps flowing, we're all okay. to reposition for those ones. Yeah, we are. Twenty-two SCU of fourteen, twenty-three now. It's a pretty penny. Position ourselves. That is not terrifying at all if you stick your hand in there. That's an airlock, or the equivalent of an airlock, because I believe the front disconnects. It requires an airlock to further continue. But let's take a look, turn on the light here. Uh, is there a piece in there that may or may not be full of quantanium? Thank God for in-ship gravity generators, or else we'd be on our ass. Right now the clock's ticking. I have 11 minutes. 
minutes left, something like that. Before the quantanium goes boom. very difficult sometimes. to a CU, it looks like. Oh, nearly missed you. Might as well collect everything I can. Looks like everything. Ah, shit, there's one to ground. That sucks. That's okay. station. No, get on the thing. Plot course back to the station. Charge, close the VTOL mode, and into the atmosphere after increasing our max speed. My eyes.
should be. Nearly. Right on target. Oh, a little bit far. It's okay. Don't want anybody stealing my shit now, do I? Alrighty, now we do part two after this. Um, which is the calculations for the spreadsheet that um, I have. Uh, not my spreadsheet, I didn't create the spreadsheet. Uh, another mining buddy. Um, collaborate with a few other people to make a nice spreadsheet um, that I have tried to decipher and I still have no idea. Bunch of Excel. Bunch of Excel calculations. Here we are. Chase date. And then how much we'll make. We'll have one crew member, no scout since we did that all of our, by ourselves. And we are probably just about to reach. Begin from the mole. The dinks, dinex, whatever the hell you pronounce it. Get a quote. Okay. So we're going to go to our spreadsheet, be really quick, just put 7266 for how much it's going to cost. I go Chrome. Confirm. It's going to take two days. Good lord. But if we take a look, total yield is 3287 times the 88. We're going to make a pretty penny on this. So back to the spreadsheet real quick. 289256. I'll put the spreadsheet uh, down in the description the end, so if anybody wants to use it as well. Map crew member, since it's just me, 281, 990 is how much I made. And we'll just make this uh, a test episode, I guess. See if uh, the interest, if anybody wants. How interesting this episode is going to be. Just a, just a quick mining run. Earn some money. And, uh, yeah. I'll be all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short, like, five minute video. But it pretty much goes through how mining's like on the mole. Um, hopefully whoever watches this enjoys. And, uh, yeah. We'll end off with a nice little view 
the space station here. All its glory. Hang on, gotta go. Put them all away. Yeah, so. I'll leave the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, and hopefully next time, have a little bit more fun. See ya.